Lion's mane is a mushroom that's been used in traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years. It is known for its cognitive boosting performance abilities, and it's also been known to increase the mind-body connection. It can regenerate neural cells. It can provide the mind with the ability to communicate to the overall network of the entire body through the central nervous system much more effectively. What's very exciting is that there's been more and more research that shows that this has a positive effect on Alzheimer's. That not only can we stop Alzheimer's, that we can actually reverse the effects of Alzheimer's. In this video, we'll get, that, get into that more deeply and also I will share with you a stack, a particular regimen that enhances, that goes along with the lion's mane to enhance the effects and the ability to heal and regenerate neural cells and to eliminate the symptoms of Alzheimer's. Welcome back to the channel where we are dedicated to a happier, healthier you through a more natural, balanced, and holistic health approach. This is very fascinating research that more and more research is showing the benefits of lion's mane, which is a mushroom, and it helping Alzheimer's symptoms. One of the main mechanisms that Alzheimer occurs is from the formation of beta amyloid plaques in the brain, in, in the neural cells. When that happens, the cells aren't able to communicate to each other as effectively and we start seeing memory impairment, cognitive impairment, and all the other symptoms that are associated with Alzheimer's. So, what one research study showed with lab animals, they took mice and they injected it with this, basically it's a neurotoxin, but it, it, is, it induced plaques on the brain similar to these beta amyloid plaques that occur in Alzheimer's. So they basically very quickly simulated Alzheimer's within these rats and they showed the same effects as Alzheimer's. They had poor cognition, they had very poor memory, they couldn't perform their tasks correctly. Uh, so we, we did that, okay, so we have these rats that are injected with this neurotoxin that mimic the effects of Alzheimer's through a protein that is coating their brain and not allowing their cells, the brain cells, to communicate to one another. Now we take lion's mane and we introduce this to the rats and we start to see an amazing reversal of these effects. That neurotoxin and those protein plaques and buildups that are in, in those brain cells of the mice are suddenly beginning to vanish and, and be removed and their cognition and their memory returns. It's fascinating and it, it is amazing that something, we think that uh, modern medicine and these pharmaceutical drugs are the answer, that, there's own, that, that these are the only things that are available and anything that's been used in the past is, is a bunch of just silly nonsense, a bunch of herbal, in your mind, placebo type of thing. But this is showing not to be true. The cool thing is that we have new modern medical procedures and ways uh, of doing things that can enhance the ability of old traditional medicines and to deliver it in a better way. And we have a body of knowledge that gives us a better understanding of the mechanisms of the human body and how, how we can accelerate healing, how we can accelerate um, the ability of the human body to be a more complete organism. So with this in particular, if we take, this is the stack. So a stack is, a, is taking multiple supplements together to act in a synergistic way to amplify the effects. So we have lion's mane that is known to be neuroregenerative, to, to known to help the overall central nervous system and the nerve networks that are within the body, we take niacin. Niacin is a B vitamin and you get a flushing effect. It's a simple B vitamin, you take it and in higher doses you feel very, when I say flush it means like your face gets red. It gets beat red and you feel all tingly. So what's happening is that you are actually 
increasing the blood flow and the ability um, to reach peripheral tissues. Now, with neuropathies, oftentimes they start at the ends of the body, at the fingertips, at the toes. If you have diabetes, some of the, the first nerves that start going and malfunctioning are at the end of the body, at the periphery. So niacin allows the body, it, 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 it pushes that circulation out to the entire body more effectively. So what this is doing, you have, you take that effect and add it with lion's mane and it's able to get through the entire body. It's, it makes it permeate more of the cells and get through the body, uh, but it also has uh, a mind-body connection. It increases that. So we can see that any neurodegenerative disease can be helped by this stack with the lion's mane and the niacin. And you want something that everyone's a little bit different, but typically anywhere from 100 milligrams to 1000 milligrams of niacin can provide this flushing effect and enhance the ability of the lion's mane to reverse the Alzheimer's effect. Now, what other neurodegenerative diseases are there that this could help with? This could actually help with MS, multiple sclerosis, which is an autoimmune disorder that attacks the Schwann cells, the myelin sheathing that conducts electrical impulses and uh, allows the central nervous system to communicate to, to the body. So it can, it can help with that. It can help with when you have later stages of, of diabetes, you have neuropathy, you have the, you start losing sensation and touch within your fingers and your toes. Guess what? Lion's mane and niacin can help with that too. So this is quite a remarkable body of research and amazing results that we are discovering in this, in this new field. Now, Paul Stamets is this amazing mycologist. He studies mushrooms. Uh, he suggests adding the, a psilocybin component. So there, typically in the large doses, this is what most people call a magic mushroom or a psychedelic mushroom. But this, he states in his research, he's a brilliant guy. He has patents, like amazing, um, just tons and tons of patents. Very practical use of the, of, uh, of mycology and the study of uh, fungus, of fungi, of mushrooms. It is phenomenal what these organisms can do when applied um, in, in these contexts. And he has, stamp, um, he has a bunch of patents for this. That's another story. Back to this particular story though. So he advocates using psilocybin to enhance these effects, but you take it at 1 20th of a gram, which is basically a microdose. You won't have any type of psychedelic or hallucinogenic experience. Um, it is 1 20th, you will barely even notice it. Um, you may have heard of this term microdosing and it's typically with, with psychedelic mushrooms or LSD. A lot of people in Silicon Valley, the creative entrepreneur entrepreneurial tech people are taking this as uh, a create creativity enhancing performance drug really so they're not have they're not tripping out but it's at a small dose where it enhances the creative capacity of the brain it allows your right brain to do a little bit more than it typically would again that's another story if uh, if you are interested in either the microdosing performance, uh, creative performance enhancing activity of that, or you are interested in more of the mycology and mu mushroom research of Paul Stamets, uh, let me know in the comments below. But in regards to this, let's just focus on the fact that lion's mane, mushroom, used from traditional Chinese medicine, Incre re regenerates the neural cells, removes these amyloid, uh, beta amyloid plaques, and allows the body to, uh, the mind and the body to communicate to one another and to create fully functional uh, neural networks again. And it can actually increase your, uh, not only regenerate, but help you function better, not only mentally, but your connection to your body and ability to move and have have complete function over your body. 
So I find this completely fascinating. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, again, that stack is about 300, at least 300 milligrams of lion's mane a day with uh, the flushing of the niacin. You want to do that together. About 100, I would start with 100 milligrams of niacin. Take those two together, 300 milligrams of lion's mane with 100 milligrams of niacin. If you don't have a flushing effect where you feel redness in your face and tingly all over your skin, you might get a little itchy, then you need to bump it up another 100 milligrams. Every day just bump it up that another 100 milligrams until you have that flushing effect. And just continue to take that. If you want to use the microdosing effect of the psilocybin, remember it's 1 20th of a gram and you want to do that five days out of the week, the, mush, the uh, lion's mane and the niacin, you'll take every day, seven days a week. But if you're microdosing with the psilocybin, you would take it just five of those days so that you're, you don't gain tolerance to that particular, um, you will gain tolerance to, to the mushroom, to the psilocybin if you take it every single day. So if you found this helpful or interesting or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and to your health.